हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रिंस ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस सेड प्रिंस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज सेल्फ हीलिंग लोकेटर्स इन सेलेनियम सो व्हाट इज इट ऑल अबाउट सो सेल्फ हीलिंग लोकेटर्स इज अ टर्म बाय व्हिच वी कैन अवॉइड द फ्लिकीनेस इन आवर यू आई ऑटोमेशन सूट so let us try to understand the use case first so when we work with ui automation so at that point of time we face challenges of locators getting changed so as a result what happens is our test suit start failing right so in order to fix it we need to replace the locators with the new locators right so this is how we fix it so this is like a pain or rework but by using this particular self filling locators strategy we can avoid this particular work right so without further delay let me jump on to the discussion right so first of all how i landed on this particular topic right so there are like many people reached out to me over the linkedin on my whatsapp channel and they were asking like is there any approach by which we can implement this particular strategy this is where i started exploring over the internet and i got one solution right so that solution is fallback strategy right so what is this fallback strategy and why we call it as fallback strategy let us try to understand so first of all corresponding to each element we would be defining multiple locator strategy like id x path class name right depending on the priority right then what we will do is we will start iterating the locator strategy and wherever we will find the element we will simply uh, get it and perform the operation otherwise we will keep on iterating right and where this approach can be helpful when there are like multiple locator strategy available for a particular element and if one got change then others can work as a backup like for example if id is changed then x path can work as a backup right so this is where we can utilize it right so that's why this is known as fallback so for example if id is not available then it will fall to another locator strategy and this is how it would be able to locate it right now let me jump on to the demonstration right so this is uh, like uh, my maven project where i'm having pom.xml right and here somewhere you'll find i'm using selenium so i'm using selenium version 4.19 and jdk is 17 right so i have created uh, one package self filling locators without ai right so i'm going to consider source demo so what i'm going to do i'm going to call it as source demo right and psvm right now we are simply going to use web driver driver equal to new chrome driver right and now what is needed right so the next thing is that is needed is we need to launch the application so driver dot get this is what we are going to use and i'm going here going to copy this particular url and let us maximize this so driver dot manage dot window dot maximize right and at last we will be quitting it right so now let us perform a basic operation that is logging into this particular application right so we have username password and login field on this particular page right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type driver dot find element by dot id right this is how we do right generally and similarly for username also for password i also i can do like this right but we don't want to follow this particular approach right so what i will do is first of all let me create locators or let us call it as locators repository okay and let us do one thing public static and void get username and here what we are going to do we are going to define one list and let us create a list of type by right so you you will soon understand why i'm using by right list of by and give it name usernames and new array list okay then what we will do is usernames dot add then what i'm going to do is by dot id for example right and then similarly i'm going to simply copy it and paste it and going to add for the strategy as well right so you can add all but i'm going to add three right name and x path right 
so we'll soon pick this right now what i'm going to do i'm simply going to create a replica of it for password as well as for login button so i'll give it name get password and we'll change it to password I would recommend you to use all the locator strategy. It will work well, right? So this is get login button, right? And uh, let us make it as login button. Okay. Now let us go to source demo and let us start fetching the locator, right? First of all, let us locate username, right? So username for this particular element right so it has id username okay so let us provide it here okay and then it has name as username as well right so let us provide name as username and let us create xpath as well so which is which can also be created like this because name is equal to username so this is how we can create so you see we are able to locate it so i'm simply going to provide it Okay, likewise, we are going to locate it for password, right? So, if I locate password, we'll be able to see password, right? So, this is the password. So, ID is going to be password. Then, name is also password. And it will simply make this particular username as password. So, we'll be able to locate the locator for password as well, right? So, I'm simply going to copy and put it here. Right. Similarly, let us do it for login button. Okay. So for login button, uh, this is the ID. And then we have name also has login. Right. And if we will simply change it as login button, we will be able to locate this particular element with XPath as well. Right. So in your case, it would change. Right. So accordingly, you can provide. So you can define the parity. Like for example, uh, if you see you you are sure that ID is not going to change, right? Others can change, then you can keep this parity. But if you are unsure, uh, then you can keep any order, right? Now what we need to do, we need to return it, right? So in order to return it, what we can do is we can do return usernames, right? But we'll have to change the return type as well. So let us change it as list of by right this is what we want right similarly i'm going to do it for this as well and let us return password okay and similarly let me do it for login button as well return login button right so this is how we got the different locator uh, locator strategy for each element right now let us come back here right so far we got the locator strategy right now the next step is we need to iterate it to check whether it is valid or not so let for that purpose let us create a class self-filling locator okay and let us create public static void get locator right or let us give it name get self held locator okay now what we are going to do is we are simply going to call self healing locators dot get self healing locator and here we need to pass that list right so for that purpose what i need to do is locator repository dot get username right so this is what we need to do so we are passing list now i'll be going back to the self healing locators so the input become list of by right so list of by and let us give it name locator strategy right okay and now what we are going to do we are going to write logic here right so we would need a driver as well right 
so let us uh, pass driver to this as well you will soon understand why i need to pass driver so i'm going back and i'm using web driver as well right web driver driver right so in order to locate element we will have to try it right so now what i'm going to do i'm simply going to iterate this particular locator strategy right which would be by locator right let us call it as locator strategy right and this is going to be let us give it name locator strategies right because this is list right so we will give it name locator strategies okay now what we are going to do is we are going to try driver dot find element right by and we will be simply passing this particular locator strategy because what find element except expects is by so we are passing by here right now it can fail as well if first locator for example fails meaning first locator strategy fails so our test case will fail itself so what we are going to do is this is where we are going to write the logic so i'm going to enclose this into try catch right so in try we will simply use driver.find element right and if it will fail let us catch it right we can use no such element exception as well or we can use parent right for all cases okay here we won't do anything we will simply say element not found okay or you can put a logger as well right and then after as soon as this particular line is executed and there is no exception then the control will go to the next line and let us say element is located okay. now we need to return this element as well right so how we will return it let us uh, return it like driver dot find element it is saying right so we will make the return type as web element okay now what we will do is web element element right okay and what we are going to do we are simply going to assign it here okay element is equal to this one okay and then uh, outside this for loop what we will do is we will simply return this particular element right so this is how we would be able to return the element so what it is saying element might not have been initialized so let us make it as null right also as soon as we have located the element we will have to put the brick there is no point of iterating the locators again and again right now let us come back to the original class source demo right and using this we'll be getting the username so web element username right and then similarly let us find password as well right so we'll simply change it as get password likewise let us make it as login button as well right okay so i'll make it as get login button right so what we will do is username dot send keys right similarly password dot send keys and login button dot click right i'll try to execute it in debug mode right so that you will better understand it okay now uh, the locators that we have provided right they were the valid locators right so id is valid name is valid and this is valid right so let us make little modifications right let us make uh in this case let us make it as user number one right so it should uh stay here and it should be able to return the element right similarly in this case let us make uh this is invalid right this also as invalid right so in this case it will fall back to x path similarly let us make it as invalid and let us keep others as valid right so let us try to execute the test case now right one more thing yeah driver.quit is already there right so now what we will do is first of all let us put a breakpoint here right like what it is returning okay then secondly let us put a breakpoint in this particular location not this one i mean 
uh, first of all, we need to put it here, like what exactly it is returning, right? So let us put it for username, then password, and then login button, right? Okay, then we are putting it get self filled locator, right? So for that purpose, let us put it here, right? So you will get better understanding instead of putting it there because this will give the valid element, right? But this will give you like which strategy was successful, right? So now let us try to execute this particular test case, right? So first of all, let me run it, right? And see whether we are successful. So it has started the Chrome browser, then it will maximize it. It has landed source demo, right? And as we are running it in debug mode, so the control will come here, right? So the control has come here. So I'm simply going to resume it, right? So if you will notice, I got three locator strategies, right? So this is what we were planning, right? Now let us go here and you see first one is ID, right? Which is invalid. So in this case, control should go to this particular block, right? So the control went here, right? And if I'll retry, right, then the control will come here again, right? So here the username is valid, right? At this point of time, it would be able to locate the element, right? So it has located the element, right? Then we are simply breaking and the element is returned, right? So we got the username. Let us try the same for password, right? So in password also, we got three, right? This is what we defined. And then uh, for password, Right, so the locator strategy is uh, like, for example, bio.id password. This is incorrect, right? So let us resume it once again. So second one is also incorrect. So it will fail here as well. Now it will try with xpath, right? So as soon as you will try with xpath, it is able to locate. That's why the control went here, right? And then the control is now let us see the login button, right? because we have resumed. So the, now the control came to login button, right? So here also we have defined three locator statuses, right? So now let us see, right? So this is login button one, so it will fail. So the control will go here. Similarly, let me resume it. So this is valid. In this case, it would be able to locate and control will never go to this particular thing, right? Then you see, we have able to locate the element, right? So now you see we got keys to send should not be null character sequence, right? So why we got this error? We got this error because we haven't passed anything here, right? So let me do one thing. Let me provide the username and password, right? So for that purpose, this particular site has provided the valid username and password, right? Source this one, right? Sorry, not like this. We have got the element. Now we'll have to perform this operation, right? Send keys. And this is standard user right not like this sorry uh, my bad we need we have already provided this right so let us do here right similarly for password let us provide this particular password right and for login button it is going to click right so now let me put a breakpoint uh, put some thread local right thread dot sleep of five seconds so that we can notice it so we run it in debug mode right now let us run it in uh, like run mode okay and see whether this is successful so you will notice it will launch the application and then it will automatically fall back to the desired element which is valid and it will perform the operation so you will notice it will enter username then it will enter password then it will click on login right so it is successful so this is how we can implement this uh, like fallback strategy for self-filling locators, right? So it may be successful in some cases and it may not be successful in some cases. Like if all the locators are changing, it may not be successful. But if some of the locators are getting changed, then it may help, right? And one more thing I would like to highlight is I have just created by classes. In the next uh, session, I will try to create it in the form of JSON and would be using the concept of object mapper or deserialization, right? To convert JSON into POJO. And this is how it would be trying, right? So this is what I wanted to cover, guys, as part of current discussion. Thank you for watching. I would request you to please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you once again.